stage, please give a welcome to Andy Wendy. Dude, I'm so bummed this group just left. Uh, no. Like, <laughs> this dude's look of just visible confusion the entire time was giving me so much material. And he just up and vanished. Like, when Patrick said parallelogram, I could visually see this guy's brain just turn into a pretzel. Like, what? <laughs> anyway, yeah, so um, it is Pride Month. You guys, uh, we're right in the middle of that. Everybody enjoying a good Pride Month? So, um, everybody knows that Pride Month is the entire month of June, correct? So, uh, at the end of May, they like to kick off that month by having a big celebration at Pensacola Beach, Memorial Day weekend. It's kind of like a, you know, an Instagram girl celebrating her birthday for the entire month. So, uh, I used to work at Portofino Island Resort. It's uh, right on Pensacola Beach. And I uh, worked there for a couple summers, and um, Andrew, you, I don't know if you know or not, you probably do. Uh, Portofino Island is a pretty hot spot for the uh, Pride community uh, party scene. So I worked in the reservations office, right? And I work on commission. Memorial Day weekend, we sell out. Like, people broke their rooms like a year in advance. So I work on commission. When there's an unsold room on uh, Memorial Day weekend, the prices are absolutely tripled. So if you call in to Portofino and you want to buy a room for Memorial Day weekend, I'm not letting you off the phone until you buy it. I don't care who you are. I'll sell it to families. I'll sell it to gay couples. I'll sell it to, I don't care who you are. You're getting a room here, and I'm not telling you what happens here. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, we're sold out. Uh, during that time, and it's a big, you know, party atmosphere. I would say that those gays gave no fucks, but they were fucking each other all over the property, man. There were plenty of fucks to go around, let me tell you. So, uh, like I said, during that time, we're sold out. I work in reservations. There are no reservations. So, uh, phones are pretty dead. So what I would have to do is I would have to work the uh, complaint line, which I volunteered for because the complaints that we got during that time were absolutely hilarious. For example, uh, there was one morning, it was 9 a.m., Friday morning of Memorial Day weekend. I get a call from uh, one of the residents, and it was just like, Thanks for calling reservations. This is Andrew. How can I help you? Oh my God, send security. Please come. I, I, have, to, I have to report a problem. I, all right, man, man calm down. What, what seems to be happening? Uh, there's a man. Uh, he's in a tower across from me on his balcony, and he's, he, he's naked, and he's swinging his penis around like a helicopter. Please, please come. Send security. <laughs> like, oh. All right, ma'am. Um, well, can you can you give me a, an estimate of what the floor he's on? I, I I don't know. I don't know what floor he's on, but please help his penis. He's swinging. I I, I can't look at this anymore. I'm trying to enjoy the, enjoy the view of the ocean, and all I see is his penis. And I'm saying, so, okay. Well, you you don't you can't tell me what floor he's on. Like, I, I don't know. Please come, ma'am. If you don't tell me what floor he's on, you got a better chance of that dude coming than me. Let me tell you. <laughs> so, um, like I said, I worked the complaint line. Uh, one of my buddies actually worked security there, and he worked in his cubicle was right next to mine. And you know, I'm just uh, trying to sit there waiting for my next entertaining phone call of what they're going to complain about next. And I overhear a walkie-talkie, and it's just like, "Hey Blake, we're going to need you over at the main pool." Blake picks up the mic, and uh, the walkie-talkie is just like, "All right, yeah." What seems to be going on? Well, there's a woman here. She's sunbathing, and she's not wearing a top. Of course, I hear this, and I peek my head over the cubicle and say, hey, man, I'll go on that call with you. So he's just like, all right, buddy, let's go. Let's ride out. So I'm thinking, this is going to be awesome. 
I'm gonna go see some titties. This is a great day at work. So we get a golf cart, we ride out to the main pool, and there she is, tits and all, just laying out for everyone to see. Walk over to them, and um, you know, we're, we're all kind of just, just laughing, just admiring the tits. And uh, security kind of surrounds her, so no one can see this woman. And we go and tap her on the shoulder and say, excuse me, ma'am. And she's acting like she doesn't hear us, like, see, ma'am, excuse me. Lowers her sunglasses a little bit, it's like, hey, ma'am, um, I, we need to let you know it is resort policy that females must wear a top at all times. Takes off the sunglasses, looks right at us and goes, what? And I said, oh shit, <laughs> that's not a woman. That is a man with two big double D tit implants. After further investigation, because I was so distracted with the top half, I looked down, he's also wearing a women's bikini bottom, and his nutsack is kind of hanging out a little bit. It looks as if he's sat and gone. He said, excuse me, sir? You have to put a top on when you're near the pool. And he goes, well, I'm a man. Every other man here doesn't have a top on. Why must I? Well, sir, because you have a giant set of tits. He goes and points over a big fat guy. Well, that guy has tits. Why do I have to cover mine up? Because his were accidental, sir. You did that on purpose. Like, I know what you're doing. Stop it. Just put the, put the top on. We'll be good. And, uh, I mean, eventually, after a while, we finally got to put his top on. But uh, that was a very interesting experience. Um, you know, I, I highly recommend going down to Pride Weekend, uh, Portofino, if you're looking for a good time. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's my story.